For a person at rest, not engaged in any physical activity, a heart rate of 60 to 80 beats per minute is considered normal. For those with coronary artery disease, this resting heart rate is extremely important. An elevated rate is a warning sign that indicates a higher risk of heart attacks and death. Dr. Jean-Claude Tardif of the Montreal Heart Institute is the lead Canadian investigator and member of the steering committee for an international study called Beautiful, which investigated the effect of selective heart rate lowering on CV events. While the primary endpoint looking at death, heart attack and heart failure was neutral, there were additional findings that showed that selectively lowering heart rate reduced the risk of having a heart attack in patients with a heart rate above 70 BPM. In the subgroup of patients who had a heart rate of 70 beats per minute or more at the beginning of the study, the drug that we tested reduced the number of heart attacks by 36%, and the number of patients who went to the hospital for a heart attack or angina by 22%. The study, known as the Beautiful Study, involved more than 10,000 patients around the world, including more than 350 patients in Canada. In terms of the significance for patients, these results are exciting. We know that the higher the heart rate at rest, the higher the risk for heart attacks. Now what this study, the Beautiful Study, is suggesting is that by lowering heart rate, we can reduce the risk of heart attacks and other cardiovascular problems in patients with known heart disease. Heart rates are important for Joanne Bertollet. She's a kinesiologist at the EPIC Center of the Montreal Heart Institute and constantly monitors the heart rates of her patients and members. Resting heart rate is important because if the heart works too hard at rest, it can show that there is a risk for the heart, for the health of the heart. Marcel Levesque doesn't believe in standing still. He regards information as a key part in fighting coronary artery disease. Having been through cardiac problems himself, he understands how important it is to monitor his heart rate regularly. Since my heart problem started, I measure my heart rate regularly, and if it's high, I consult a nurse at the Epic Center. Coronary artery disease is the leading cause of death, and the World Health Organization predicts it will remain so for at least the next 20 years. These initial findings show for the first time that lowering heart rate is beneficial for patients at risk for a heart attack. Martin Vanderwood reporting.